go back to England here for a minute because, uh, you know, Mr. McNeese seemed to find trouble wherever he went. And apparently uh, you didn't like the English food too much, uh, Jake. Why don't you tell uh, how you got around eating English food? They were feeding us Brussels sprouts and carrots for breakfast, and the same thing that evening reversed. And it wasn't too good a menu, I didn't think, and we were stationed on Sir Ernest Wells Manor House, and his estate, and he had a big game reserve there. He had about 150 psycho and fallow deer running around out there. Good meat, you know. And so I decided I'd start feeding my men in the barracks. And I'd go out each night and I'd kill one or two of those deer and hang them in a hollow tree and skin them out and let them cool out. And in the meantime, he had two fish hatcheries there full of trout and jack salmon. And while those deer would be cooling out, I'd be down there gigging fish. and we'd, be having fish or rabbits and they he came out and discovered all this mess Sir Ernest Wills did and he charged the United States Army with uh, $10,000 for all these animals that we had been eating and they called the bobbies in and all that you know and the bobbies were questioning us <coughs> and I had two deer hanging in this hollow tree and I'm standing right up against that land on tree de denying everything, you know. <coughs> and so when the officers found out that they were going to have to pay for this, all these deer and fish that we had eaten, why, well, Captain Daniels fell us all out there and talked to us, and finally he couldn't get anyone to confess or admit that they had been involved in it. And he came up to me and he said, I'm going to tell you one thing, Sergeant McNeese. He said, this is going to come to a stop immediately. And I said, well, Captain Daniels, I said, uh, you cut me to the quick to indicate that you think I might be involved in all this. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Magnese, he said, they could take me out here in a two and a half ton truck and blindfold me and travel in circles for two hours and let me out of there blindfolded. And he said, I'd walk straight to your hut. I said, how could you do that? He said, it smells like a hamburger joint in a barbecue stand. <laughs> he says, he says, you haven't been to the mess hall in, in, in three months. He, <laughs> he said, you're eating like a high on the hog in there. And these bobbies were listening and so forth. And I'm leaning up against this tree and I got two deer hanging up in there, <laughs> carried out. <laughs> But the officers finally had to dig up their own money and pay for it. But they, the sack of deer was pretty good eating, but they're small deer. They're not much bigger than a greyhound. So you had to kill two or three of them, you know, to feed that many people. But we never went to the mess hall at all. <laughs> 